Let's see how we can open a document file with a Microsoft Word for Mac. First, we go to the folder the file is placed in. We double click on the file and it is opened using Word for Mac. Let's see now how we can save a document file as a template. We have a file opened already. We go to the File menu. We click on Save as Template. A new window appears. We navigate to the folder where we want to place our new template. We can see that the file is exercise.x and we click on Save. Let's see now how we can save a file as an RTF file. We have a document already open. We click File, Save As. A new window appears. We navigate to the folder we want to save the file in. We choose the file type, RTF in this case. We choose the name of the file. And we click Save. Let's see how we can save a document as a web page a .htm file. In the Open document, we click on File, Save As. We navigate to the folder we want to save the file, change the type to webpage.htm, change the name of the file to the required one, and click on Save. Let's see how we can save a document as the old uh, document file of Microsoft Word, .doc, not .docx. In the already open document, we click on uh, File in the menu, Save as, We navigate to the folder we want to save the file and choose the name. We choose the correct file type, Word 97-2004, and click on Save. Now we will see how we can change the page size of the document. The page size is the paper size of the document. We go to the Layout tab of the ribbon, click on Size, Choose A4, for example, and our page has changed to A4. We will now learn how to change the page orientation. In the already open file, we go to the Layout tab, click on Orientation, and we choose Landscape. The page was currently set on Portrait mode. Let's see how we can change the page margins. In uh, the already open document, we go to the Layout tab of the ribbon. We click on Margins. We click on Custom Margins, or we can uh, select any of the predefined ones. And then we set the margins to the values we want to. We click on OK and the margins are set. Let's see now how we can modify the distance of the header or the footer from the edge of the page. In the already open document, we go to Format, Document, And there, from the Layout tab, 
to select the distance of the header from the edge. Similarly, we can change the distance of the footer. We click on OK and if the margins are outside of the printable layer, we can fix them or ignore the message that just appeared. We can apply border to our pages. Let's see how. In the already open document, we go to the Design tab, Page Borders, decide the type of border we want, we click on OK. There are a lot more settings to play with here if you want. Word can let us insert continuous line numbering in our document. Let's see how to do that. We click on Layout, Line Number, select Continuous, and the numbers appeared on the left of our text. Word has a lot of predefined themes, and we can create our own. Let's see how we can change the document theme. We click on the Design tab of the ribbon, and from the Thibs button, we select the theme we want, in our case, the Office theme. Word can help us add page numbers to our pages. Let's see how we can add one to the footer. First, we navigate to the footer, double-click on it to enable it, we go to the page number button. We decide the alignment of the number and then we click on format to decide on the format. We can change the number of the page our numbering will start, in our case 5, and we can also change the number format. We change it to Latin numerals. We click on OK, again OK, and our page numbering is where it should be, starting from 5. Word can help us insert a watermark in our page. Let's see how we can insert a text watermark in our page. We click on the Design tab of the ribbon, click on the Watermark button, a new window appears, we select text, type the text uh, we want to appear as a watermark. We have the option to change the font, the size, transparency, font color of the text to enter, and then we click on OK to apply the change. Let's see now how we can add a picture watermark. First, we go to the Design tab of the ribbon. We click on the watermark button. A new window appears. We click on picture. We select our picture. We navigate to the folder we have uh, saved it. Click on insert. We can scale the picture or perform a washout on it. Washout is checked by default. Our watermark is there. Word comes with a collection of predefined headers and footers. Let's see how we can insert one of them. We go at the Insert tab of the ribbon, select Header, and from the drop down, we select one of the predefined headers. In our case, we select Facet Odd Page. Each theme of a word comes with a set of styles, a style set. Let's see how we can apply one. We go to the Design tab of the ribbon. Here we can see the different uh, style sets. We click on the arrow and select the Thatch style set.
Word gives us the ability to apply shading to our pages. Let's see how. We go to the Design tab of the ribbon, and from the Page Color button, we select the color we want. The shading of the page has changed. Word gives us the ability to have a different header and footer for the first page of the document. We can also remove the header and the footer of the first page of the document. Let's see how. We double click on the header, we click on different first page and make sure that both header and footer are empty of any text. Let's see how we can delete and insert bookmarks using Microsoft Word. Our document has already a bookmark named Set for You. We go on the Insert tab of the ribbon, click on Links, then Bookmark. We can see the bookmark here. We delete it. We close the window. We go to this line over here. Select Links, Bookmark again. Type the name of the bookmark and we click on Add. A new bookmark has been added to the line we have selected. The discrimination that Mac users have been facing by Microsoft Office tutors is over. The brand new Test for You in application training system has arrived to let all Mac users use their installed software to learn how to use their Microsoft Office for Mac. With Test for You, you get innovative, interactive training instant feedback by our advanced grading engine, assistant video solutions, but above all, you get the chance to harness the power of your Apple Mac PC and get the most out of your Microsoft Office for Mac. Available for Word, Excel and PowerPoint for basic and advanced levels. Compatible with Mac OS, Catalina or newer and with Microsoft Office 2019 or newer. Fully compatible with Mac PCs powered by the M1 and M2 Apple Silicon.